Welcome to Creativity with Kim, where everyone is welcome and creativity is for everyone. Today, we're going to be creating a card using the Spectacular You stamp set. I am just loving it. And I'm also using the Slimline um, stencils, which are um, only available to consultants, so they're an exclusive thing. And I'm using that pattern, and I am offering for the month of February, anyone who um, signs up to be a VIP with me or refers their friend to be a VIP with me, that I will send them this stencil pack, or if they sign up to be a maker with me. So um, contact me if you're interested in that. So we're going to blend a background. And at first I thought I might use one color on one side and the other color on the other side, but then I decided not to do that. So I am using the Mermaid Lagoon, and I'm use putting it through the stencil which I've just washi taped onto my all-purpose mat. I put a little bit of adhesive on the back of that piece of um, cardstock so that it wouldn't move around. And the stamp chamois works amazing for wiping off your stencils. And then I'm just blending the whole background with the um, peacock feathers set. I'm spritzing it with some water, and then I also take some water from my um, mister, and I'm just dabbing it on on different spots because those are distress oxides, so they react with the water. And wiping off some of them that you can see a little bit of the oxidization happening on there you can see it better in the um, still pictures and I just removed that adhesive from the back so then I'm going to get out my stamp set and I am going to put one of the glasses onto um, a stamp and I am going to stamp that one on in lagoon ink so I'm just seasoning that brand new set stamp on my skin just to pull off the um, manufacturing film. It's kind of shiny and it doesn't like to um, pick up ink if you don't do that. So you want to season it by rubbing it on your skin or stamping it multiple times onto paper first. So I'm stamping that one in Lagoon and then I'm going to stamp a whole bunch more of the um, of the glasses. So I choose three other ones. I leave the cat eye ones. I didn't use those ones. Yeah, I don't think I used the cat eye ones. There was a couple that I didn't use. So I'm lining them all up on a um, together, putting them really close to each other. And I grabbed a three by three block to put them on. And then I'm stamping them in mint. Now I realized that the one pair of glasses was upside down um, when I did the little test one. So then I am figuring out where I want them. So I wanted that one set of glasses to stand out um, and to kind of be signifying the one person, right? So um, I thought this is a really fun car to make. So I just covered all the other areas in with the glasses stamped in a pattern. And then I'm going to stamp the spectacular birthday as well as wishing you a. So I'm going to get my archival black ink and I've seasoned those ones too, making sure I clear off any stray ink. And I'm going to stamp spectacular birthday underneath the glasses and then I'm going to put wishing you above and I really like this um, it just kind of pops it there so kind of a fun different look it would be great on a scrapbook page too I inked all the edges of all my pieces with the lagoon ink pad now this is one of our old ink pads um, if you were to buy lagoon now it would be in the same um, magnetic type case as the archival black and I have a couple little strips there of um, sweet as honey paper and then some black cardstock. I'm also inking up my card base. You will find all the measurements for all these pieces in the description box below. So make sure you check that out as well as there will be links for all the supplies I used. So um, that way, if you want to get this stuff, you can easily find it. So this white piece is going to get backed onto that black piece just flat. And then these little strips of Sweetest Honey paper, I am just going to put them on and I'm just centering them on the middle of that card. So one on each side. I love that you can use just little scraps um, and it looks like there's a whole strip going across, but there's not. So it's a great way to stretch your paper or maybe just only have a few scraps of something that you want to use. So, and then I'm putting some thin 3D foam tape on the back of this piece and popping up it up there in the middle. So I love that. It's a fun, um, pretty simple card. And then I grabbed my black and white um, dots and I'm adding um, a couple black ones and a white one. So just figuring out placement there. And I used a small black, a medium white, and a medium black down there. And I love how it turned out. So 
I hope you enjoyed that. And here are some still photos of it. Um, and I'd like to, like to know what you think. So if you like this, please give it a thumbs up. And um, I would love it if you'd subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss anything. So have a great day and make sure you check back soon to see what else I have. Take care. God bless.